cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Andigoni and today we are doing a Harry Potter body paint! The idea for today's video is to create a makeup inspired by my favorite Harry Potter dormitory and this is Ravenclaw. If you are curious if I actually have done the official test at the internet to find out that I actually belong at Ravenclaw as a dormitory, no I haven't done anything. Okay, I just follow my heart here. But if you are really interested to see a series of Harry Potter makeup, body paint, whatever we can find out together, please write a comment down below, write a comment which is your favorite dormitory and leave a like to this video because in this way you encourage me to understand that you want this video actually to become a series. So yeah, without any further talking, let's start! Like every other body paint, I'm starting by fixing my hair, wearing my glasses and taking this pencil from NYX Professional Makeup to start sketching the costume. The basic design is here and now I'm planning to start with the shirt and fill it with white and for this I'm gonna use from Julian Spiegel the shade Vice and as you can see it has a hole so this means that you will not see it for a long more. I want to enhance my white a little bit and for this reason I'm gonna use from the palette right here. This is the collaboration that Morphe did with James Charles. So I'm gonna take the white, it's called Flashback and as you can see I have really really loved this color like you see a huge hole inside it. So I'm gonna take a brush and just make the white whiter. I haven't added shadows or anything but the idea behind it is first of all to finish with my tie in order to have some guidelines to help me more about where the shadows should be and all the stuff like that. So for the tie I'm gonna use this palette right here. This is from Mecher Makeup and it's a quite used palette I can say. If you see here I'm gonna use this blue right here and the name of it is literally dark blue. It's a very nice palette and unfortunately it's about to finish but I will make sure that I will buy it again because I'm very very happy with the quality. In my opinion these colors are a little bit better than Julian Spiegel but I have a lot of Julian Spiegel colors so my next purchase have to wait. Okay, before I add any patterns to this tie, let's decide that the light is coming this way. So I'm gonna do some shading in order to make it a little bit more 3D. For this reason, I'm gonna use again the James Charles palette. I'm gonna take this dark blue right here in order to create some shadows and then I will take the white in order to create the highlights. Next step is to draw some white lines on the tie in order to mimic the design as much as possible and for this I'm gonna use from NYX Professional Makeup the Epic Ink Eyeliner in the shade white as always basically and I'm gonna take another brush because I feel that the brush is very very thick so I will not have the result that I want so for this reason I'm gonna take this brush right here this is from Morphe M250 zero it's important zero so let's do it What we are doing next? I think that all the characters, regardless to the house that they used to belong, they all had a sweater made of wool and usually this was grey. I'm gonna replicate that but I don't have pre-made grey so I'm gonna make my own. I have some white, some black and I'm gonna mix them. Okay, I think that this is gonna be difficult in order to find the correct shade that I want but Okay, let's try to scratch a little bit of white. I'm gonna use this this time. So I have this amount of red and I'm gonna add some black from Julian Spiegel, the Svarts. Give me a second here, it's not as easy. So it's a little bit destroyed. Can you see my black? It's a little bit destroyed, but it's fine. My god, I made way too much grey, but don't worry. I have two empty slots here at this palette, so I can store my grey here actually. And I will make no waste, as always. Next step is to do the blue part of the vest. I think it's called vest. If not, please write down in the comments. So again, I'm gonna use this dark blue right here and I'm gonna fill it. I have finished with everything, so I'm gonna give myself a very nice black robe. For this I'm gonna use the black body paint from Julian Spiegel, you know it by now. Oops, 
it's starting to do some weird things. Anyway, so I'm gonna do this black and I'm coming back to add the shadows. Obviously, I have finished with the shadows of one side in order to make it easier for you to understand how the whole thing is going and what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna explain everything as always. So, basically, I have used again my James Charles palette and I used black which I diffused later on in order to create all the dark grey shades, the shading of my grey woolly sweater and all this stuff. So, let's see it in live action! As you probably have noticed, I have finished with the buttons and let me tell you what I have done. So, from this palette, this is Athena from You Can Be, I have used the silver right here and then I set it everything with a shadow from this palette. This is from MUA, 15 shade palette Frosted Gleam and I chose this one in order to make everything less um, sticky and more opaque and everything. So, in order to show you that technique, I'm gonna try to draw the thread between these two buttons and basically I'm gonna do the same for you to see it. I'm gonna follow exactly the same procedure in order to fill my... I don't know, is it a patch? Is it a badge? I don't know what it is. Anyway, this one, the sign of Ravenclaw, the logo of Ravenclaw is gonna be silver, my favorite, because to be honest, I hate gold. So yeah, let's make it silver! Now I'm gonna apply some primer for metallic sparkly eyeshadows and specifically this one right here from Paint Glow, this is the Glitter Me Up and then I will take my favorite palette right here Oops, did I spoil something from a future video? Oh my god, I hope that you didn't notice anyway uh, This is from Kat Von D, it's a very old palette, that's why I'm not using it on my eyes Basically, I'm using it, but I don't show it on videos because I don't want to recommend you guys to use it on your eyes because it's really old and we don't do that. Don't be like me. Okay, I'm not a good example always. So, I'm gonna take this shadow right here, which is called Ministry, and then I'm gonna fill my badge here. I drew a little R on my badge with NYX Professional Makeup, the Epic Ink Eyeliner, of course, if you don't know about this specific one, this is a limited edition from the collaboration that they had with La Casa de Papel. So that's why it's gold. It's exactly the same amazing product that I always loved. So yeah, I can't believe that we finished with the body. Oh my god, like this took me the whole night. Literally, it's... Let, let me show you, let me show you. It's 6.40. 8 in the morning and I was doing that since what 9? 9 at night? Oh my god, now I have to do the face but wow, <laughs> I have finished with the body finally! <laughs> For the eyes I decided to go with a kind of crazy blue cut crease. I'm not revealing why I'm saying crazy, you will find out. But first of all I'm gonna set my base with Urban Decay Primer Potion as I always do. My god, is this about to finish or? It's just my idea. Hm, I don't like it to finish. Oh my god, it's a good product. Don't finish. What I have done here on my eyes might look a little bit scary or maybe a lot scary, let's be honest. It's fine. But I want to tell you that I have used from NYX Professional Makeup this pencil right here. That's why I was looking down, I was looking for it. So this is the Faux Black in the shade Midnight. In order to be able to have a guideline for my crazy cut crease, in order to have, you know... Do you remember the Valentine's makeup that I have done? It's working exactly the same way. Next step is to take this palette right here. This is the Hummingbird, the collaboration that Udensai has done with Fancy Face and Tina. And from this palette, I'm gonna choose the Lagoon right here, which is a very, very nice dark blue in order to help my line be a little bit more smoked out. I will continue with the same palette and the shadow clear blue in order to smoke out a little bit more. I wasn't very happy with the dark blue and the intensity that I had, so I took some help from this palette right here. This is Giant Wolf's, uh, again, Wooden Sai collaboration with Annette Dubrestad. 
So I used this one right here, this is called Cosmos and that's why I deepened my eye look. And now I'm gonna use from the same palette this one right here which is called Astral and I'm gonna use it as a highlighter under the eyebrow area. It's time for some duochromes, yay! So I don't know if you know me, if you have seen any other videos, but I love colors. Like colors are everything to me. They make me so happy. So for today, I'm planning to use this pigment right here. This is from Carla in the shade Cupcake. This is actually a birthday gift from my friend Aphrodite. Hello Aphrodite, I know that you're watching. And also I'm gonna take again the palette Giant Gulch right here, which has probably my favorite duochrome, which is the Eternal here. It's a very nice like pink to blue, amazing color. You will see it on my eye. But before I actually start, I wanna prepare my eyes with some glitter glue. This is again the same that I use from paint glow and after I apply the glue I will go straight to the glitters. Before I continue let me tell you some things first. So I tried for first time this Carla's Cupcake Duochrome Shadow and I'm amazed. Literally this is the best duochrome that I have in my collection right now and I know the dirty thing that the editor is about to do to me. He will put the clip where I'm like literally one minute before I'm saying that Annette's duochrome is the best. I haven't tried it yet, okay? It's not my fault. I'm innocent, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna continue with this, uh, the same eye pencil, basically midnight. I'm gonna put some at my waterline and I'm gonna shape the bottom part of my eye. Let me tell you very, very quickly what I have done until now. So, first of all, I primed my face with NYX Professional Makeup Marshmallow Primer. I don't show you step by step the procedure because you have seen it a lot of times, so I will just mention the products. And if you want to see me how I'm using them, you can just click to a previous video, you know? Then I used a combination of foundations. This is the Matte from Lumen and this one right here, this is from Maiden High Definition Full Coverage. Then, after that, I set it the under the eye area with uh, this hourglass powder and now my skin is ready to accept blush and highlighter. So, for highlighter, I'm gonna use this one right here. This is How Many Carats from Fenty Beauty and Rihanna. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm ready to apply it. For blush, I'm gonna use from TK Cosmetics, so it's a Swedish indie brand which focuses on mineral makeup. Amazing, you need to try it if you live in Sweden, if not, you still need to try it, okay? So I'm gonna use this one right here, this is uh, gorgeous and it's a very nice pink with some micro shimmer inside. I really loved it when I tried it and I wanna use it as much as possible, it's a very nice color and I feel that it fits me a lot. To warm up my face a little bit, a little bit though, I'm gonna go with this bronze and highlight duo. It's not a duo anymore, but okay. This is from Sunkist, Living the Dream, and I'm taking this fluffy brush. I will do this motion, and then I'm going to my face. Now it's time for the Greek word of the day. For today, I decided to tell you the word for raven for obvious reasons. So in Greek, we say koraki. Say with me. Ko, ra, ki. Koraki. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word koraki or say the word koraki in your own native language. Actually, before I forget here, I would like to tell you like if you wanna see more close-up pictures or you know if you wanna zoom in the makeup you can always find me on instagram my instagram page is katlady and Igoni. it's gonna be down here and there i will have a photo shoot of five unique pictures of this makeup look so you can go there and take your time for lips today i decided that i would like to have very shiny but not necessarily colorful lips so i decided to go with a combo I'm gonna use this product right here. This is a liquid eyeshadow. It's 
it's called Interstellar and this is from LH Cosmetics, Linda Halberi. Uh, actually this was my favorite product from January so you might already recognize this one. And then on the top I'm gonna apply a lip gloss. I'm using this one right here, this is from Glossy, a Greek indie brand. So let's see the combo together! Well, 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 what do you think about the lips? Aren't they unique? Aren't they perfect? Like, there is a reason why I love this liquid eyeshadow. Also, tell me, who was your favorite dormitory? Who was your favorite character from Harry Potter? To me, I don't know, I was so young when I read the books. I was around 12, so I don't remember everyone clearly i need to read the books again unfortunately they are in greece so i don't have that easy access to them but i haven't watched the movies yet so this is impressive i need to watch the movies and i promise to you that i will do it as soon as possible to remember the story the characters everything uh, but from what i remember i used to like uh, hermione and actually i'm saying it in a little bit greek accent because that name was greek uh, so yeah, Hermione was my favorite character, I don't know, like, I could relate to her for many reasons. But yeah, I would love to hear your opinion and like, why do you prefer the character that you prefer? That would be very, very interesting. So yeah, that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. I hope that you had fun. See you next time. Until then, bye bye!